24 pounds, with a professional record of 21 wins, one loss, one draw, with 11 wins by knockout, the heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, I present Bad Brad Hector. Bob Yarnell now will go to center ring and give his instructions to these two fine gentlemen and champions. And let's watch the stare down. Professionals, I expect you to act accordingly. Pick your kicks up, make them strong. Watch your spin technique. Make sure you only hit with the padded part of the glove. Do not use the ropes. If you get your man through the ropes, get off of it. If your opponent is down, remain in the neutral corner till I call you out. Holding is against the rules, two warnings, and I'll start taking points away. Let's have a good fight, man. Joe Corley, in my three and a half, four years of announcing PKA Karate, I don't think I've ever seen more pre-fight electricity before a bout has gotten underway than this one here tonight. Well, it's been building, you know, and neither one of these fighters are the kind that try to hype the thing either. It's just a natural conclusion with no, no uh, external hype at all. We're set for round one. Roop starts out kicking high. Roop wants to try to get inside. He's going to try and bore as much as he can. Remember, Hefton sometimes starts slow. That could hurt him. Hefton says, this guy is going to force me to get my motor turned over quickly. Of course, the one reason, too, Rook wants to get inside is to stay away from that terrific ground kick that puts people away. But Brad Hefton is so good at Hefton wants to use the jab as much as possible and that front kick and some side kicks to keep Rook off of him. Rook knows that Hefton has a tendency to pull those gloves in front of his face defensively, and he's going around him to the body. Rook looking like very much the strategy he used against Joe Lewis. Round number one of our world heavyweight champion. Brad Hefton is not starting slow tonight, folks. He is right on target. He says when Rook gets in close, I've got to do my uppercuts and I've got to get free for the hooks. He's been working on more movement side by side. He says he's not going for that. He gets a pretty good combination and a very good right hand. An uppercut, a left. That's his up with a cut. Those are the kind of things that Kerry Roop cannot afford to keep walking into. Roop gets a good right hand in on the side of the face as they come off the ropes. A kick followed up by the right hand. Another overhand right. The left and the right on the Roop's chin. A good short spinning kick. Right into the body, thrown with the left leg. I haven't seen Hefton do that one before. There's the bell that ends the first round. And a great indication of the flurry of action that we're expecting to see the entire bout. He's too much time pushing. Roop tried to get the leg up like it happened right on target. He did not slow, start slowly tonight. Five, com five shot combination all pulled together there. Hardly he anything missed. Remember that? Yeah. He comes in. Back, Let's take a look at the common the opponents. Right They've there. had six common opponents. Both these fighters the have won time. all of their bouts. Roop, though, as you Watch notice, his list of fighters and decisions has one knockout compared to Kerry Roop's four knockouts. So Hefton does not have the knockouts that Roop does against common opponents. Yeah, Roop knocked out four of those guys. They both uh, took decisions over Rob Salazar. Roop knocked out four of them. Hefton, only one of those six common. Both fighters have never lost a heavyweight fight. Both fighters quick. previously fought as light heavyweights. How would you score the first one in that exciting first round, Joe? First round was Hefton's 10-9. Good hard kick, and he comes up top to get a piece of the action that time. Uppercut, snapping Roop's head as he comes in. Hefton is timing that perfectly, Joe. Hefton is so much sharper than he was this time last year against Tom Hall. I know Hall is out there waiting just to get another shot at this. 
champion, Brad Hefty. He's had some good close fights with Hall. There's no question about that. Hefty taking the championship by a mere point off each, judge, each judge's card against Tom Hall. Remember, Kerry Roof has eight losses on his record, but most of those losses have been the world champions. Dan Macaruso, Jeff Smith, twice to Jean-Yves Theriot. He is a tough, tough customer. Roof, 5'10", 130 pounds. Throws the overhand right that covers Hefton up. Walking into the left hand that time. Beautiful counter timing in by Roof. Out of the way of the right hand and back with the left. Watch the kick. Watch the spinning kick. Roof takes one and gives one back. Digs into the body. Roof cannot afford to keep walking into those. Combination comes out, one punch snuck through, not much power. Remember, Brad Hefton has been this pace 12 rounds last year with Tom Hall. Punishing kick to the ribs that time by Hefton. Roof has never been 12 rounds at this kind of pace. He went nine hard rounds with Macaruso, but that was three years ago. Time running out in round number two. We'll be back with more of this World Heavyweight Championship fight in just a moment. Round number three underway. We saw how Brad Hefton was driving the spinning back kick into Kerry Root that last round. Kerry Root cannot afford, as I said, in both of the first two rounds to just keep going in. Root says ever since his new coach, Bagot Garcia, came aboard, he's been much more effective with his hands, and he's worked very hard on his combinations. Hefton got an uppercut and a kick. Got another left-hand jab. Roop is psyching himself up, but I'm afraid he's running into too many shots. The kicking combination in by Brad Hefton may be one of the finest we've ever seen in contact karate. Hefton has definitely learned to put those punches and kicks together. Just a slight cut. It's not bleeding. Slight abrasion. Underneath the right eye of Roop as he the tries once again to get in. The left right staggered him on the way in. You saw him lose his knees for a second. Hefton with everything together. Roop trying to get it together and score points. Hefton countering those turning moves by Roop very, very well. Roop looking for a shot. Drives the right and left. Hefton covering up. Comes back with a short combination. Oh, what great kick to the chin. Hefton's got Roop in trouble. Roop gaining a sense. Comes back with another devastating kick. Roop, though, just pours in and exchanges punches with the champion. Kerry Roop has got to be planning on a knockout at this pace. He's got to be. and there's a the bell that ends the third round. Let's go back to Roop's corner and see what Garcia has to say. You see a slurry of blood right there. Nothing to worry about. The one thing to worry about, though, has been the, has been the devastating give me, give me the Give me the towel. The give me the towel. Now listen up, Kerry. You did beautiful right here, just the same way you did it right here. I want you to do the same thing you did over here, okay? I want you to do the same thing. Give, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Yeah, I want you to do the same thing, okay? Measure him, move back, and then let him go, okay, baby? Let's check out the action from that round, Joe Corley. Water, water, water. Hefton just putting the hands and feet together. Look, front kick into the face with the left foot, then left-right combination. The hands together, and then back with a right front kick to the face. Amidextrous kicking, and Amidextrous punching from the champion, Brad Hefton. Come now, buddy, come on. Go now. We're getting set now for round four in this exciting fight. Still very close as Roop tries to get inside in the champion, but the champion has been kicking and combination of jabs that we anticipated, and it's working. The right hand bouncing off the gloves and hitting the champ out of Hefton. Nice spinning back kick. How would you have it scored now, Joe? 
I've got uh, Roop down by three points, losing each round 10 to nine thus far. Roop wisely covering up after picking and coming in. Gets the left jab away, but a devastating right hand that time that snaps the head of Roop. Hefton has never been this sharp before. Roop very determined. I'm wondering what his strategy is going to be. He's got to be hoping for a knockout, though. He was saying that he did not expect it to go the distance. It had to go a little ways, and he had to have a knockout. Hefton scoring handily there. The overhand right. Roop is looking to key off now. That's not very safe for him. Joining us here at ringside is Anthony Elmore, the world super heavyweight champion. Anthony, what about this pace? These men can't go like this for 12. Well, I think that Brad Hefton can maintain this kind of pace uh, because he's keeping Kerry Hoop to the outside. Kerry Hoop's punches are, 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 are being kind of wide, and he can't get straight punching on Brad Hefton. Great kick, followed by a right hand, an uppercut right, an overhand right, another kick, and Roop is ineffective at stopping that overhand right. Hefton now just keys off, and that looks like it might be it. A devastating right hand that's open to cut over the left eye of Kerry Roop. And there's the bell that ends the round. We'll go back to the corner and check that cutout. Kerry Roop has his handlers working on it right now. The young man from Rochester, Michigan is in trouble. There you see the champion, Brad Hefton. Let's take a look at the knockdown now. Look at uh, Hefton. Boy, just his eyes are lit up, blasting these shots. He sets this jump spinning back kick up. Lucky for Roop, that landed on his shoulder. And, and Hefton right on target with that right hand. Right on target, Bob Yarnell right in the middle of the action. Another angle of that same shot. Perfect shot then by Brad Hefton. Wise move by Bob Yarnell. Move the head when you're moving Move that Let's listen him. Take that out, take that out. Don't cry, baby, don't cry, baby. Take it to him, baby. Take it to him. Kerry Roop has his daughters in the corner with him. They're not too happy about things. They're weeping right now. As Roop, being the veteran he is, is looking for the one shot. It's a good kick away, but Hefton very confident now. What Roop's doing at this minute, which he has not done, Anthony Elmore, earlier, is he's trying to make Hefton miss with those hand shots. So it's just going to be very difficult for a guy with the height of Kerry Roop to beat a guy like Brad Hefton. He's just, he's not the height difference going to make the difference in this fight. At, at least Roop is now moving his head from side to side on the way in. He wasn't doing that earlier. Roop looks like he's regained some composure right now. He's going back to strategy. Oh, but a spinning kick took him hard. And that left hand and right combination coming in. Brad Hefton has never been this sharp. Brad is this Brad's some of the best technique I've ever seen in full contact karate. He yep. is together. He is on. He's not feeling what Roop's throwing. And everything he lands seems to be on target. First time, like, Brad Hefton senses victory right now. Boy, he's progressed in a short period of time. The first time we saw him was in Chicago. He was 3-0 with three knockouts during that time. A preliminary fighter. That right hand didn't do him a bit of good. Roop still had plenty of power in that right hand. Can Roop hang on? Take Brad Hefton condition wise. Taking his licks. He's quit the side to side head movement now, Roop has. Now he's boring back in straight. After four rounds, we're in the fifth round right now. You see 10 seconds to go for the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. And we'll be back with more Kick of the 80s from Rockford, Illinois in a moment. Joe Corley, let's take a look at the setup now. Brad, first of all. Brad Hefton has thrown 59 kicks in five rounds. Look at that combination round kick, spinning back kick to the face. Then he puts the spinning back fist together. 
Kerry Roop's just getting hit from almost every direction. Getting set now for another round. Brad Hefton, the champion, gets off the stool and comes out. Kerry Roop, as he enters round six. You have to know that Kerry Roop is in some kind of shape to have taken this kind of punching and kicking punishment, Anthony Elmore. That's right. Uh, Brad, I mean, Kerry Roop is taking a lot of punches. He has to bore his boy's way in, and it's just very difficult. A good shot that time by Roop broke up the uh, action. A good left hand to see if he can compose himself. Now. Moving side to side like Joe mentioned. Brad Hefton's using some very elusive defensive foot movements himself. He's moving 90 degrees out of the way as Roop charges. Just a jab by the champion. Hefton tries to beat him coming in with the jab. Got a good stiff right hand to carry Roop. Sneaks a left or a right, I should say, on the break. Anthony, you were with us in Montreal with Terry O versus Batiste. I don't think this fight's going to have to take a back seat to that one. Very excellent fight. It's a, it's a great contrast in style. You got a tall guy and a shorter guy, and it makes a good fight whenever you have a contrast in style. Group is now not trying to get his head out of the way. He's absorbing too many shots. And Hefton's being patient, taking those shots very wisely. that connected, a jab that connects, and the cuts opened up once again over the left eye of Kerry Roop. Look at the force of the kicks and the, the telltale signs on Brad Hampton. Oh, a devastating spinning kick, followed up with a combination as time begins to run out. Ten seconds to go in the round of six. Replay the action now from round six. Sardekman and Joe Corley. A trio of jump spinning back kicks by Brad Hefton. He had Kerry Roop in the corner, continue to work on him with the hands, within step back, check his distance, and drive that jump spinning back kick right into the face. And he just put them together three times. What courage from Kerry Roop to be able to withstand that. Incredible courage now as we look forward to round seven as we see some of the action in that corner. The first one that drove him there, he was hit by four jump spinning back kicks. Roop came back to the stool, wobbly, almost losing his balance as he walked back to his corner. We'll see if he can maintain his composure now through this round seven. How would you score it up to this point, Joe Corley? I've got Hefton down, or up, I should say, by 9 points, 60 to 51. Very one-sided. What we're seeing from Root primarily now is courage. We're seeing uh, just a sharp shooting practice by Brad Hefton. Joe, the beautiful thing about Brad Hefton, he knows where he's at. He's, he's picking his punches very well, and that's a sign of a great champion. Harry Root, that cut just opens up once again. Each round, it opens up a little sooner. Kerry Roop is fighting on sheer guts and determination. <laughs> Terrific spinning back kick. You can see it. Devastating left and right. It pops him in. Standing eight count by Bob Yarnell. A safety measure in the PKA. Hefton coming in. Roop is almost out on his feet right now. He takes it, a right hand, a left. He's just peppering away. Hefton doing what he has to do in his business right now. Spinning back kick just breezes the nose. Harry Roop just in sheer courage alone. Springs the right hand. Tries to look for an opening, can't do it. Hefton was too close in the spinning kick that time. Comes back within range and jabs with the left hand. Roop hanging on by a thread. There's the bell, it ends another round. Let's follow the champion back to his corner. Now let's go to Kerry Roop and see how things are. Give me the, the towel, give me the towel. Give me the towel, hon. Towel, give towel. me the towel. 
Okay, now listen up, Karen. Listen up, man. You don't follow him around like that no more. The... You want to continue, Karen? Sure. One more. Take a deep breath, baby. Take a deep breath. You heard. Take a deep breath. Here, here. You That's didn't okay. That's okay. Yet. That's okay. Stop bleeding. What? Stop bleeding. The bleeding stop. Okay, now, Karen. Yeah. Baby, you gotta move the head some more. You gotta move the head around a lot more, okay? I want that head movement. I want that head movement. Yeah, you you shot that, that right hand. When you get inside on him real close, listen to that, baby. Listen to that. Okay, now when you get inside close, bring that right uppercut. You're laying in there and you're resting on him. Take it to him, okay? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Bring that right uppercut. You heard the middle. referee, Bob right Yarnell, ask Kerry Roof, do you want to go on? Kerry said, yes, one more. And Kerry. there's the bell for round eight. Underway. Kerry Roof took a fight with Johnny Terrio on just a few weeks' notice. He couldn't answer the bell for the seventh round. Oh, a devastating kick that put Kerry Roof down. A counter jump spinning back kick right on the target to the body. Completely took a 190-pounder off his feet. <laughs> Hefton's fans cheering him on. Hefton patiently looking for his opening. You will never in the history of sport, I think, see any more courage than we're seeing from Kerry Roop right now. Kerry Roof with tremendous dogged determination. A right hand coming back with a left foot kick. What terrific coordination. Yes, look at where, look at where Brad Hampton is. Brad knows where they're every second. Standing eight count. Mattel comes into the ring. Kerry Roof can take no more. And the courage of a young man in that ring as Brad Hefton has retained his PKA World Heavyweight Championship. The corner for Kerry Roof finally calls it quits. They know that he can't continue to absorb those kind of shots. 